This is a demonstration of Project Trinidad, a new VMware runtime security solution that leverages machine learning models to detect zero-day attacks for modern Kubernetes-based workloads by observing east-west API traffic. In this demo, we will show how Project Trinidad monitors Kubernetes workloads, how it visualizes workload behavior, and how it is able to find malicious activity happening in an example e-commerce application. To start, we go to the Project Trinidad Launchpad and install the data collector in our Kubernetes cluster, which already runs our demo application. We do not need to change anything about the existing workload. We download the Kubernetes manifest and install the sensor using the simple command provided in the UI. Once installed, we can see that the data is coming into the cloud backend successfully and the analysis system has started its work. The system has built a high-level understanding of the interactions of services in our cluster. The UI visualizes the monitored namespaces and provides a detailed description of APIs observed in the workload. Drilling down into one example, the e-commerce checkout API, we see that the system has inferred information about the API and how those different microservices interact. We can see all the parameters that it has inferred, names, types, whether they are required or optional, and a detailed description of what parameter values look like in practice. This alone already gives infrastructure and security teams information about their applications they might not have had previously. Once the machine learning models have been trained to understand what is normal activity within the cluster, the system can start identifying anomalous behavior. Anomalies are highlighted in the cluster overview and details can be found in the anomalies view. As you can see, a high impact attack using log4j has been discovered on one of the workload APIs. Clicking on the anomaly, we get detailed information about the suspicious API call why the API call is considered anomalous, a service map that tells us exactly where in the cluster this event occurred, which pods, deployments, services, and so on were affected, details about when the event occurred and when it was detected, the HTTP request and response information, as well as a summary of the API schema of the affected endpoint. It is important to note that the machine learning model was not trained to recognize any specific known attack, such as for the log4j exploit. Instead, the ML model has learned which input parameters are expected for API interactions, where an input can be as simple as a request header or form parameter, or a complex JSON sent in the request payload, and so on. For each parameter, it has built a model that describes the expectation of allowed values. As a result, it is not only able to identify unknown zero-day attacks, but also give detailed information about what in a particular request raised suspicion. In this demonstration, we saw how easy it is to install Project Trinidad and get runtime behavior-based analysis of workload traffic and secure modern applications using its machine learning-based capabilities. Project Trinidad is now available to try for free via the VMware Showcase program. Come and try it out on your workload.